Welcome to this video. Uh, this is going to be a VBS programming tutorial and it came about a very interesting way. I was using uh, SolidWorks to make a video of an assembly being put together and taken apart and as I was exporting this video I made a mistake in the format that uh, this video was going to be in and so when I exported it I woke up the next day, turned on my computer, my desktop looked like this. It has every individual frame as a picture, and I have thousands of these on my desktop. So I'd like to clean this up using a using a VB code. And to do this, you can tell by the naming convention that they're progressed uh, using a four-letter naming convention, and it's just one after the other. After making this video, I just wanted to clarify that uh, Every file is named the exact same name, and then the number changes from 0000 to 0001 to 0002 0003. So they all have such a similar name, and all we have to do is delete every file and add one number every single time. So let's make a program that will do that. So I'm going to create a loop that will delete this. So the first thing I'm going to say is in my code, um, let me give you a better view here. All right, with this better view, uh, the first thing I'm going to say is option explicit. And then I'm going to say Set FSO equal to that. In case I use a W script dot shell. I'm gonna say <clears throat> And I'm going to put that in quotes to ensure that uh, I set it to the, the string to that text. And I'm going to say do to make a loop. And I'm going to take one of these names, copy. Paste six real assembly, and it's all good until this dash, and then this number changes. So I'm going to end the string here, and I'm going to add in our variable by the and sign count. If count is between one and nine, it should have three zeros before it. If I say count equals count plus one, the problem is it will have the value of one instead of zero, 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 one. To rectify that, we're going to have to have a series of if statements and then concatenate the string. To do that, I'm going to say if count is greater than, well, if count is less than 10, then count equals 0, 0, 0, and count plus 1. Else if count is greater than count is less than 100, count equals 0, 0, and count plus 1. Else if count is less than 1,000, 
count equals, I'm sorry, count equals zero and count plus one. So I'm saying I'm going to start at zero because this the first name in all of these is real assembly zero 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 zero. So I'm going to start off with four zeros. It's going to delete six real assembly three and and then it's going to add in four zeros here instead of this number. And then it's going to uh, <coughs> say, well, if count is less than 10, which it is, then count equals 0, 0, 0, and 1. And then it will skip all the else ifs because it already found a true if. And it will go back to our do loop and it will delete real assembly 3 and 0, 0, 0, 1. And then it will loop again 0, 0, 0, 2 because we're adding 1 each time. When it hits 9, if count is less than 10, uh, it should be less than 9. If count, when count becomes 9, then it's going to say, oh, if count is less than 9, it's not le 9 is not less than 9. So I'm going to go, oh, but it is less than 100. So I'm going to add 0, 0, and count plus 1 is 10. And that's how it will progress to the next naming convention. If there's more than a thousand, I don't know if there is, then we're going to say if count is 999, here you go. So if 99 is not, that's perfect. And that way we can uh, correctly cycle through the right naming conventions by concatenation of strings. And finally, if, if there's more than a thousand, I'll say else. So do this if none of their criteria are met. And loop. So that we'll do this now. This is going to produce an infinite amount of loops that's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I also need to. Uh, grab this file extension and so I'm going to delete the file and count and then I'll add in another string dot b m p and that will delete the complete file extension now so if I this will go to infinity this will keep on adding one and one and one and one and it will run forever and take up system space and not delete when we want it to delete. so to prevent that I'm going to say if fso dot file exists and then I'm going to say then delete the file and do all of this then I'm going to say This will contain this if statement. I'm sorry, this will contain this if statement within this if statement. Oops. Which makes me able to say else w script dot quit. And then we'll loop. So what I've just done is I've said if this file exists, then I want you to Proceed yes, delete the file, and then rename your else if, and keep doing it until you hit this end if. If it does not exist, go to this else and wscript.quit. Oh, I have to add in thens after my else if. I also need to dim my count variable. Let's, I think that's everything that we need. Let's save it and run it. One minor thing I forgot, I have set count equals 0, 0, 0, 0. Since I dim counted up here, it's just count equals 0, 0, 0, 0. So I'll get rid of the set. 
Now let's run it. And it deleted all of our files, just as we expected. Um, I hope this was clear, and if you had any questions, let me know. Just to confirm that it's still not running, I'm going to push Control Delete. I'm going to go into the uh, Task Manager, and I'm going to pull up our details. And I'm going to look for wscript.exe, and it is not running. So it deleted all of our files, and it shut down all by itself, just as we wanted. Um, thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.